At the moment, my garden is in a bit of a mess. In the first lockdown, I cleared all of this and took the membrane up. I cleared all of that over there and I cleared that over there. But because I've got holes in the membrane and I hadn't finished the garden properly, then obviously it's going to come back through. I used to have a wall here, took it down. I never used to have a rotary line. I used to have a path all the way from the top of the fence, which we never used to have a fence as a stream behind. I used to have a path, a thick, a thick path all the way down here to where this wall was. I smashed that up. Where you see my flowers, my hydrangeas, this one used to be connected to this one over here. My neighbour had a new fence, so I had to take that away. That away from there. And it was tiny and it's grown lovely now. I have another hydrangea at the back. Then I have a forest fern in the back garden, which has flowered. Now, back in the day, I used to have a Christmas tree there because my Nana took it from the forest behind her as a housewarming present when I got here and I moved here. So eventually that grew too big. The forest flame was in a pot and when it got too big, it got transported to the garden there. So now I was supposed to have the garden covered completely in stones, but my friend kept my money and let me down really badly. So now I've got new contractors coming out in September. So all of this will disappear. All of this. And the plan is to put a nice edge in where the wood is here. And then 16 tons of stones will cover the entire garden. Because as I'm getting older, it's hard work for me. But at the moment, I've been told where the green bits are, which are easy to come out, but it's hard work. Put the weed killer down. Well, I can't because I've got my own cats here and I've got other cats in the garden. I ain't doing that. So I'm just going to be in the school holidays before September hits, taking all of this out bit by bit again, like I did in the last lockdown. Take my time and do it. Put the headphones on, have some music and chill out and do it. Um, and then it should be done then, ready for the, um, the transformation, hopefully. Well, that's the plan anyway, So it's going to be done this year. I never used to have a um, fence over there. That was put up for me by an ice block. And I don't know what's happened to my tree. <laughs> this is about 15 years old, my conifer tree. And it was green a couple of months ago, but I think it's been so hot and humid and everything, it's gone a bit, uh, well, it looks dead, but it's not really dead because I've still since I've got some green left in it. I've got some green stuff on it and at the bottom. So I am trying to rectify him and see what's going to happen when we get to winter, see if he can come back a little bit. This has been like that for a while because the sun is hitting it and it's just gone here. So I'm going to try and get that sorted out, see if I can work on him anyway. But at the moment, excuse my garden, it's a bit of a tip. It's hard work in this garden. And uh, well, you can't see down here, but where you see the different colour stones, it always used to flood here and nobody was sorted out. So in the end, I dug four foot down on my own and then I got the council up. And uh, they put a drain catch in over there, but they put pipes underneath my uh, stones. They took all this away when it was tidy back in the day and put pipes right underneath here. So then when it rains, this does not flood anymore. So I fixed that problem because it was getting on my bloody nerves. Because the houses were built in the 50s and this is marshland. So every time we used to come out here, it used to be about, what, this thick, full of water. So it was easier to dig it down, find what was going on underneath. And it's just mostly um, clay and glass and china people have chucked under and um, oh, coal and it's good stuff, good soil underneath. But uh, I need to rectify that. 
So then they put the pipe in underneath here. So when it rains now, the drain there's a drain under there which had to be uh, fixed in the last lockdown because it did uh, break, so it's been sorted out again. So when it rains, the drain will take it from there and chuck it down the drain catch here. Now that's a proper drain for everybody, and this is a drain catch for just the piping underneath here. So I'm going to do a before and after video because I've been here, what, 35 years now, and it's about time to get this sorted out. So, um... Obviously, this is what's gonna what it looks like at the moment. That's a tip, as far as I'm concerned, because everything's coming through because it's holes in the membrane now. It's a lovely day. We have had rain, and now it's uh, quite lovely out now. So, I am logging off. And once this garden's done, I will update this video and put before and after. So I can just get some nice pots of flowers in the garden then and uh, do something different. Bye. This is my garden before. It's been changed quite a lot over the years. And this is my garden now. Anyway, this is my garden now, much more of an improvement. Now what I have to do is get some pots and make things colourful in the garden now, in the summertime. At the moment, at the moment, it's December and all of the leaves have come off the tree. So um, that will be rectified next year. And it's a lovely day, considering it's uh, the 10th of December. Anyway, that's my garden. And I'm looking forward to decorating it now um, in the new year. So some painting jobs to do next year and um, get some flower pots into the garden, make it more colourful, but I'm really pleased. And table and chairs of course. Bye.